Hey, I want to show you a job that a few of us got to go on to with Mike Kirkpatrick with AEC Wall Systems. He built a house 5,000 square foot and he panelized all the walls off-site, trucked them to the job, put all the panels up in one day. And I want to show you how that was done. I got some good video footage, time lapse and stuff that I'm going to show you later on in the video, probably about halfway through. So what made this work, what's happening in the field right now is this product. This is a product called Helix. Helix comes in a box, 45 pounds, about 20 kilograms per box, and you put a number of these boxes in a ready-mix truck. They have charts, Helix has these charts, and all the engineering is done to tell you how much of a dosage you need. Now, this is a strand of steel, and they're about an inch long. Actually, I'll put a picture right here, and you can see exactly what it looks like. It's twisted, it's got a plating on it so it'll never corrode, and it puts tension where you need it in the wall. So if, if you're above grade and you got wind hitting the wall and then not hitting the wall, and you don't know where the tension's gonna be, well, Helix got you covered. They're gonna give you tension all over the place. And it's an amazing product, the engineering is incredible. And if you look at their website, see if I can go here, Helix Micro Rebar. Now it's helixsteel.com. I'll put that up top here. And Twisted Steel Micro Rebar. On this site, they're going to show you all kinds of things about it. There's some videos on it, and you can find out exactly how it works. Now, Mike Kirkpatrick's company, AEC Wall Systems, that's Alternative Energy Construction, they did these walls, and this is how they did them. They, they had these corners. They'd stack them up seven rows high, eight rows high, ten rows high, depending on the job, right? Now, seven rows high, that's what I'm holding right here, that would be nine foot four, and that would weigh about 60 pounds. That's all. Now, if you put corner bar in, they actually put corner bar in their job. That's going to put it up to 80 pounds or so, and put that into place, and then they would make panels with the block. Two block long would be eight foot. And they went seven rows high, that's nine foot four, and that would weigh about 100 pounds. Now, there's no rebar in there because the, the helix is going to cover that, right? So put that panel into place, and now you've got a stack seam. Now, I used to teach not to do stack seam. I've changed my mind on that. Some contractors told me that I should give it a shot, try it out. I did. I'll never go back. Stack seams are awesome because they speed a job site up. And it puts all your studs in the right spot. So now the sheetrock guy doesn't complain like he's going to complain anyways, right? Now, our corners, I don't bother putting extra strapping on the corner because we've got the extra length in the corner. That stops that block from rotating, which eliminates failures. It's amazing how something that simple can make the industry better. We also have our big corner bracket in there, so I really don't put any extra external strapping on. So there I go. I put that corner unit into place. Another corner unit, one or two guys can lift that up, put that into place. Another panel, a couple, of three, four guys put that into place. And you just keep popping them up. There I've got 20 feet of wall put together. Now they use hat track to put that together. Typically you would use strips of plywood, one by four, one dexter on either side, do that on each course or every other course, depending on where it is in the wall. If it's in the body of the wall, I don't put that many straps on. You do need to strap it, but not as many. At a corner like this, you'd want to put more straps because there's more pressure against it. But that's it. That's panelization. Very easy, actually. And now watch this video, and you're going to see panels like this that were laying out in the field. They actually built these all in a shop, and then they got busy. They did this last fall, and they were going to put their house together last fall, I was going to go out there, and then they got so busy with other jobs, they got a few hotels to build, things like that. So they moved all this stuff outside of their shop, and then they ran out of room there because it got so busy, so they moved all this stuff to their um, job site, and it sat out in the field for the winter. So now we have all these panels that have seen the weather, they've been through a winter outside, so there's some yellowing going on and some breakage and stuff, you're going to see that. But that's real world, right? That's, that's a great example of watching a true panelization job going together. And they had no problem. It, it went together really nice. They had some issues that they had to deal with. No big deal, just like a normal job. So watch this video. And in the end, I do a walkthrough on the job to, to show it. So let me know what you think.
I'm on a job site with Mike Kirkpatrick with Alternative Energy Solutions and they are putting their house together today so that in one day they're going to do a 5,000 square foot house all, all the block put up and it's a complex house it's not an easy house and the way they're doing it let me just show you here you can see in the distance panelized product so that's Fox Blocks put in panels before the job starts and they started lifting these panels up and you can see these walls 12 foot high they started this at about 7 30 this morning and i just want to show you the scope of what they've done these panels are about eight foot long each on average and they're using the crane for the taller 12 foot walls but when they get down to the eight foot to 10 foot high walls they're hand bombing them into place and you're going to see that in a bit but here you can see they're doing a lot of interior walls like I said, a 5,000 square foot home. Windows are all in already. The corners were just stack seamed. And they're using this metal bar to hold them together. You can see them in the distance getting some panels put up. It's been on average about six men helping to put this together. You can see these panels sitting here all labeled ready to be used. We've got some reveal product. So that plywood will be removed and they'll have exposed concrete on the interior wall of the house for some of the walls. They're going to be doing some fancy radiant heat in the walls, things like that. And you can see them moving some of these panels around. It's actually quite easy and they are extremely durable. They even went as far as to put a finish on some of the walls before they even stood them up. And that's a rhino stone 
foam that they put on. It's a peel and stick membrane. Looks awesome, and it's working really well. They're really happy with the with the results of it. So here they go with one more panel getting put on, and they're hoping to be done actually early. They'll probably be done by 4:30. And like I said, not a comp not an easy house. Very complex.